my kitchen window. I'm live. Good evening, YouTube. I, I know that's bloody green, like gurning like a tool. I say it every night, but thank you for tolerating my 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 grin slash gurn. Uh, you're not going to catch me, catch me. You're not going to catch me pouting any any time soon. Um, that's where I draw the line. No no pouts with this ugly mug, but. Um, I just do a static grin like that. That's, anyway, it, it's hopefully looking okay on the thumbnails. I haven't learned to create a thumbnail yet. All right, I'm not going to hold up Instagram. I'm just going to do a very quick intro to YouTube and simply simply say, tongue tied, episode 393 of True House. Thank you for joining me on with the show. I've been speaking um, for the last 20, 30 minutes or whatever um, about the McGregor freight train, the, the recent UFC um, fight, and it was a fight, by the way, just, just to clear the air. Again, it's only my, in my humble opine, but the whole doctor's stoppage thing, and yes, I know Ronda Rousey said, well done, Connor, for cutting a promo on the floor with a broken leg. Yeah, excuse me, I get all that. Um, but all I've said, all, I, all I've Profit up is that very loosely, and I'm going to move on to the jackass thing now. Um, very loosely, that in this in this period of, of um, limbo, if you like, of, of where the equilibrium has been, you know, um, I look at life as you know spinning plates, isn't it? A plate spinning, or you're a graphic equalizer of life, the way we all try and equalize our lives, right? Um, if you're doing that, and even at the level of performative living that we see in McGregor and the money involved and the people involved. Um, you know, let's face it, we are talking, a, 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 I can only imagine, but a team of sycophantic serfs, or even succubi serfs, but the words, um, to my mind, sycophant, sycophantic, uh, a serf, again, I don't insult anyone, but a serf, S-E-R-F, a serf was like a medieval you know, when you were in the field with your scythe and just turning over the soil and you were the, the peasants, the, 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 the plebs, the plebeians, the plebiscites, the serfs, the minions, the, the underlings, the, 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 yeah, the, the villages, the, that's their, you know, that was what a serf was. Um, I'm going by memory at school, I left school, well, 15 actually, but anyway, that, that's what I would imagine. Um, although, Possibly, if you've got an employer like a McGregor, you might be looked after, depending on how many degrees of separation you are from said super athlete. Um, I wouldn't like to be a, a, a bag carrier for someone like Connor, because you'd be, you know, there's your... I, I know I'm going off on tangent, I, I know, I know. Um, but here's your superstar, you know, your... Um, the notorious, whatever they call him. Um, and then if you're a, well, you're going to carry his bags, <laughs> you're number 12 down the line. Um, I don't know, who knows? It, you probably get to see the world at least. Um, but I've, I've gobbed off about the Connor thing um, enough for anyone who wants to check out um, what I said about the whole um, Teddy Atlas, Dustin Poirier conversation, which is a few days ago, um, it's pissing it down. I, I doubt you can. Well, if you can hear background noise above and beyond my gob, it's my fan here I've got because I've just done a little bit of home cardio and um, my kitchen window is open. I actually like the sound of rain. I don't know about you guys, but um, I, I use a couple of apps, one called Breathe and one called Cause, called Calm. Um, I always go for the um, the rain noise, you know, a lot like a jungle or. or um, forest rain you know just I find the sound of rain to get you nodding off very very soothing anyway that's not a sponsored piece I've got no sponsors um, me messing with my mic all the time look at there better looking with it covering my face really there you go what does the mighty Joe Rogan say oh, about there mate about there well it is anyway um, jackass. Okay. So Johnny Knoxville, and we remember this, um, for those of you that are around my age, you know, I'm 49, I'm 50 in January, getting on. The Knoxville gang 
Ben Margera, Bam, sorry, Ben, Bam Margera, Bam, Bam Margera, Bam Margera, um, Steve-O, Chris Pontius, Ryan Dunn, dribbling again. It's quite appropriate that I dribble if I'm talking about Jack Hale. I've got to be honest with you guys, I was prompted to um, discuss this tonight based on, see, I, I, I love skateboarding. I, I, there's a reason that this is this is a, a complete segue. Um, you know, I skated um, stupidly from from 13 um, through to about mm, well 12, 13 to about 21, 22. Um, I say stupidly because um, I started 10 years too late. Um, if you're going to skate to what I call a real level, with the views turning pro, you know, you really do start no later than three to five. If you look at the new breed of skateboarders. Um, now, um, you know, a, a late start would be five, uh, and the average start is, you know, two to three, four years of age. Oh yeah, these kids are olling at five and six, believe me. You know, um, we here have uh, some Olympic hopefuls, and there's certainly one Japanese, British, um, wonderful girl called Sky Brown, um, who, no doubt in my mind, will, will clean up. Um, and I was a far better skateboarder than I ever was a bodybuilder. You know, I, at six foot five, was a, um, certainly not the thickest bodybuilders, you know. In bodybuilding, the thickness is good. Um, I was laterally very wide, a um, lot of lateral width, um, thigh sweep, um, bitty bitty waist at my height, but no, what I call no 3D, like, where was Justin's hanging ham? You know, where was Justin's chest or back thickness? Do you know what I mean? I was, oh, anyway, um, my best shots were not from the side, let's put it that way. But at six foot five, I had a very symmetrical physique, um, just being fair, um, but I would not say it was remarkable. Um, above average for my height, it was a decent balanced physique for a man of my height. Um, and uh, good legs for a bloke of my height. Point being, I was a better skateboarder than I was bodybuilder. Uh, I, you know, we all have regrets. Sorry, I'm just pissing around with this. I'm putting my little, I like my little wrist bangles and whatnot. Um, yeah, it, I, knowing what I know about life now, um, I wouldn't have stopped skateboarding because the reality of bodybuilding, even if you're really, really good, and um, what I say by book, oh, well, I elbow the, the boom arm. Um, what I say about being really good in bodybuilding means you're genetically predisposed to be good, and you've got um, a, you know, you're fortified with a good constitution, um, mental and, and physiological, um, so psychological and physiological. Um, that rain is probably landing in my sink. Um, Anyway, just being a grunt, like, oh, go to the gym, is not enough to climb the ladder in the top of bodybuilding. And anyone, anyone that's done bodybuilding for more than a dozen years does know that. Um, I do say it takes a dozen years to get any physique decent. Let's be fair. It's, you know, have you been cooking long enough? And it's the same with skateboarding. It's the same with a lot of endeavours. Um, you know, like, I, I'm not lowering the standards of the, the, the entrance fees of football. I'm in no way daring to say that footy isn't, isn't difficult, but my point is um, a spherical ball placed on grass and ask the human leg at the hip flexor to go, you know, subutio and kick it, um, is in terms of functionality, you know, at, at a utilitarian level, can a human just go, like that, literally, flick, you know, from a child, baby, to the most incompetent, um, unfortunate genetic specimen, the answer is yes, you can toe punt a ball. Most humans can kick a ball. Most humans cannot be a successful bodybuilder or a high-flying skateboarder. Um, that's my point. So the, the, the level of, actually I should make this a separate stream really, because it's really worth getting into the, the nitty gritty of this, that what what athletic endeavours 
require uh, prerequisites, what, you know, their, their, their level of entry to be so high. Um, and again, without, I'm not denigrating traditional sporting activities, you know, soccer, cricket, rugger, you know, whatever, but, but most of these tra traditional sports, um, ball games, again, yes, you've got to be acceptable to rise to the top, or even to just play for your local team. But in terms of can a human do it, yeah, it's pretty damn easy to do it. You know, here's a ball, throw it, catch it. Here's a racket, a bat, a foot, a hand, boot it. You know, it's doable. Most folk can't even stand on a skateboard, let, let alone, you know, just get rolling and just just most people fail to learn to ollie. Um, so, and again, most people fail. I sound terribly negative, but I'm just being, I think I'm being pragmatic. I think I'm being objectively, well, it's subjective because it's my opinion for sure, but I'm trying to be a, a pragmatist here. I'm trying to be brutally honest. This is true house after all. I do not cucking lie, could it? Am I like, yeah I am, sorry to check in YouTube, I was like, am I rolling, I'm rolling it. Um, rolling, rolling. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the level of entry for things like bodybuilding, or um, you know, skating, surfing, snowboarding, the more extreme sports, the more extreme, uh, unusual, left field, outlier endeavours. Can we, can we agree on that? I think that's, that's my point. It takes me a long time to get to my point, doesn't it? Um, should just, should just be called the convoluted cast, shouldn't it, really? Anyway, look, this is long form. I, I am doing long form. You know, and this is a monologue, by the way. I'm not, I'm not screen sharing. And by the way, actually, I do have at the moment, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but I've got three chats at the moment that I'm just trying to sort dates with to have, um, you know, good split screen chats with um, fighting. Um, you know, good, good names, you know, in, 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 the, in the three. Um, friends of mine. Anyway, what? Okay, riddle me this. Why are we attracted to the spectacle of, oh no, he, she didn't, Caesar, are they? Um, I'm not going to do the pronoun game, but seriously, why are we attracted to the allure of, oh shit, look at the backflip? You know, there's something about human performance. And I use the word performative performance because. This is where something like Jackass kicks in. Um, again, happy to show my age here. It does, honestly guys, it does upset me that what was literally turn your MTV on, there it is, fun, 20, 21 years ago, would not be passable now. Um, the for want of a better for want of a better way of trying to convey myself in the most eloquent and lucid fashion, um, obviously political correctness gets in the way of this being permissible. But um, that wasn't my ass; that was my foot on the stool making that noise. It's just a sad fact because this is not progressive. There's nothing, you know, libertarian or liberal or progressive about what's going on. I'm not going to go down the politics rabbit hole, I'm not. But I will say, the way we in Western culture, this is completely relevant, by the way, to what I'm about to say with, with regard to programming and what's permissible, you know, in terms of our, our diet, you know, what do we view, what do we listen to, what podcasts, what streams, what programs, what, what events, what comedy, what films, what, yeah. Um, you know, are you not entertained? Said Maximus. So, oh, I won't do an impression, but it's just upsetting to me personally to see the degree of regression. What was okay in the 90s, you know, watch any documentary, any documentary on any sporting event or musical event, concert or, or gig or, you know, a, a Woodstock type thing or, or a a deed, you know, a dance event, you know, I was banging into my dance music in the 90s when it was brilliant, you know, because Global Underground and Renaissance fucking rocked, man. 
um, I love my epic house and deep dark dirty room trance, you know, I loved it. Anyway, um, God, it was good. Um, yeah, I, I just, I could all get it off my chest, guys. The, the, what, I, I tell you what, I'm struggling with the language here. I am lamenting, okay, what I am lamenting is the fact and the notion that a regular Saturday back in the day for a, a Gen Xer, I'm not a boomer, a Gen Xer like me, you know, watching Jackass, watching those guys, you know, I've mentioned, you know, Bam Margera, etc., just destroy themselves. Just, you know, oh, you're in a porter cabin, you know, outdoor prefab, wipe the toilet, you know, we're going to just have you literally covered in faecal matter in the mouth. Steve-O jumping into another hotel um, swimming pool that's several feet deep. Um, you know, um, again, a lot of those stunts were skating based. Um, I myself, you know, in the, gosh, late 80s through to mid, late 90s, um, just, so I'm just thinking my years skateboarding, just obsessed, obsessed with, you know, oh, Justin, you know, can you ollie off this phone box? You know, can you try and no comply out of that multi-story? <laughs> just, I don't know, I, I, you know, I, yeah. Can I stale fish off the other side? It's a silly trick name. Um, only if it's front side. Look, the point being, what the hell, what the hell are we playing at? That's really, I just, again, I, I was watching, oh, it was a day ago, um, there's a great um, podcast called uh, The Nine Club, as in the numeral nine. Um, I don't know why they called it that, but um, it's predominantly interviews, you know, like, you know, on a mic with, with sort of, um, there's like two or three people in, in on the team and they interview predominantly pro skateboarders um you know you're sort of tony hawk level yeah and they had bam um margera margera on who was a good pro and you know not not the the hall of fame that you'd see at the tony hawk but um nonetheless capable you know certainly good enough to be a pro um I, looking back at people that I watched 20, 21 years ago, that I enjoyed certainly in terms of what they did, their art form, their way of expressing themselves, their, their you know, just their antics. Um, I, I, for me, yeah, happy happy i don't like the fact we've become so sanitized and almost too civilized no i don't it bothers me you bother me it bothers me it bothers me it's, it's just um yeah I, I i find it stunning that just for the sake of, of and, and the maintenance of what voice was that the maintenance of, of political correctness. Uh, look, and I, again, I mustn't, note to self, mustn't get political. But it's sometimes awfully hard not to. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's almost like a Christmas day of the trip is I'm trying to think of some awful of, um, apocalyptic and dystopian John Wyndham novel. Um, no, it's not John Wyndham. Um, H.P. Lovecraft. I don't know. I'm just thinking of some awful, bleak turnout. Just, just a, a, an event, an Earth-level extinction event. I don't know. Look, all I'm saying is that if we keep going over this broken path, it's not going to be, you know what I mean? It's like, can I make it analogous to, God, nodding off things, I am tired. Can I make it analogous to a really sketchy bit of 
concrete. You know what I mean? So um, potholes, something that would take you out, or if you're a skateboarder, you know, little fissures where stones and wheel trappers would superman you, you know, and you end up doing a, a face plant. Um, I just think we're on that skating rink type of flooring. I, I, I think, you know, I, I shut my eyes, partly because I'm getting tired, but um, it's quite... I don't know how to... Exp it, it, it's concerning, it's concerning to me to see the, so I'm just trying to save my own stream now. Um, so it always happens, I, I, I start off strong, you know, blah, 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 then I get this wave of tiredness. Um, it's different when I was big in the swamp one, but, but what was that sentence? <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously. Um, look, I'm just saying, for God's sake, if you ran Jackass, whatever, season one, two, three, if you ran it through now, They'd have them, they'd have them for, they'd call them misanthropes, you know, haters of humankind and nihilists. Um, they'd call them misogyn misogynists and bigots and homophobes and transphobes and xenophobes and, and every phobe and just, you know, make them bow down before black lives matter. You know, um, I just... I don't know. This is what happens. This is what happens. And my face does that. It's time to stop streaming. See that? My eyes are gone. I'm losing my cadence. But I, I just look, I'm going to shut the hell up. I'm going to go. Because I've, well, frankly, um, the other thing in terms of me trying to maintain some. Um, Multicum of or some degree of, of, of um, discipline on, on this stream. I did say, and I have been sticking to it as he speaks delicately into the microphone, um, that I would do streams where, I, where it's just me like this for no more than 30 to 45 minutes, which is what this is. And um, yeah. Um, I mean, you've got um, look what, when you've got a, a weird. And I'm not making excuses. And I'm not. I'm just going to be honest with you because the entire catharsis behind this. I'm just going to. I kind of give a shit. If people listen to this. Why did Justin House call his live stream True House? You know, my, my promise, dear listener, dear viewer, to you, that under no circumstances, under any circumstances, in any In any I don't know. I'm tired man. Under no circumstances will you catch me lying, distorting, bullshitting. That's I am getting tired man, hence the shut eye. Huh. But the point is to at least live stream safe in the knowledge that I don't utter a lie. Sure, someone could go away and fact check me and say, oh, Justin spoke about this um, aspect of politics or whatever, and, you know, but, you know whatever, it was wrong. Okay, um, wrong, sorry, my bad. You know, um, Yeah, true house, wrong lot, lie. Will not, will not cut, will not lie. 
and I'm not lying. I get tired mentally, I get tired because of my medical challenges, which you've all had before, um, medication, etc, etc. I'm not going to regurgitate the smorgasbord of um, just ailments. Um, That's it. Nodding off on camera. There you go. That's when you call it a day. All right. A rapid decline from me. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. I, I've apologised. I'm going to apologise one more time and say, look, sorry for tapering off a stream like this. But just, but that's, you've seen it. Hell, I might even watch this one back because um, as a rule of thumb, I make a point to never watch these back. I just find them far too embarrassing. Um, but maybe I should watch this one back to see how quickly I do uh, go from being very verbose to being almost gone. You know? hmm. All right. Okay, I'm out. Sorry that it ended this way, um, but you know what? I don't edit. I don't know how to edit. It's super live. And this was Justin House. Finishing up the 393rd, I hope you enjoyed it. Sincerely, I mean that. Edition of True House Livestream on this Tuesday 27th, I think of July 2021. I'll be here tomorrow night, same time, same face, same place. Thank you and good night.